Hello friends, my name is Dr. Sena and basically this video is a specialist officer information technology or SOIT. So this topic is on web technology in which we are going to study HTML. So let us start a study. So HTML full form is known as hypertext markup language. Its structure is written like this. Every time this bracket double arrow, okay, not the arrow, you could say uh, it's a now uh, something like that, like that of bracket only, okay. So this thing in an uh, in an arrow shape you could say in an arrow shape it is written so opening and closing of arrow after it one uh, slash will be given there and this thing will be written as closing of the brackets okay or closing closing of the arrows so this is the thing this is the basically format and here is the structure html head then you could write title in between title head body 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 is closed there and html is closed there. so how to write Initially HTML is open and it is closed by HTML closing tag. Head is written and after it a title is written. It's written like a title and it is closed by another title. Followed by head closer. After it everything that you want to display in the website is written in between body content. Everything that you want to display in the website is written between in between body content. And after it is closing tag of HTML. So, second point is head. Head is written as head opening and after head closing bracket. Okay. So, what is the purpose of using head? Head stores useful information, but all those informations are basically hidden. That are not that can't be viewed. If you are if you are you know if you are viewing the website or web page, it is means head figure will not be displayed over there. But it is stores useful information. That's the thing. In case of title. So title is visible at the top of the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari, whatever the browser you are using. Okay. So whenever you, this is the website. Let us suppose you type triple w dot google dot com. So here, Google will be coming up there and it will search bar. Okay. So. This is the thing that is written over here, and in this thing it comes in between head title, head opening bracket after followed by title opening and title closing bracket after head closer. Okay. So this thing is visible in the website, and it stores useful information that you want to display in the website. What does the website basically try to mean you? What does the website basically trying to say you? Okay. Now hyperlink. Hyperlink basically means a type of linking of the web page. If you want to link a web website, not website, you could say, yeah, you could say website. Hyperlink means you want to link a website or web page anything to, uh, to your website. So you could use a hyperlink. So it is written as, as a h e r f is equal to the double uh, double of, of, or double um, apostrophe as HTTP colon double slash triple dot google dot com double apostrophe as and after Google and close the bracket of A. So this thing should be closed here. So this is done. So this is known as hyperlink. Okay. So whenever you put your, uh, whenever you try to move the website, it means your when you try to move the, your cursor. Okay. So it will show a handle like this. Okay. Whenever you trying to move your cursor in the web page, wherever this hyperlink is present over there, it will be something represented as a, in a blue color. Sometimes it represented in a blue color you could make a note blue color sometimes it is written in blue color or hand shape like appear hand shape will appear okay this is a thing <laughs> coming to meta tag meta tag specify the page description keywords author last modified <coughs> So meta tag comes in between head title, okay, and head tag. Sorry, meta tag comes between in between head tag. Another thing is that meta tag uh, thing, meta tag information is not displayed in the website as well. Description like meta name is called to description content is called to free web tutorials. Meta name is called to keywords. That means if you want to hit, if it's something type in the Google and it should appear in the web means by typing this thing that thing and it should appear in the website, then you require to put HTML, CSS like that. So whenever anyone is typing over HTML, your website is appearing in the search engine. Okay, that's the thing. 
meta name is equal to author content is equal to bank PO. So this is whether on meta uh, HTTP dash equal is equal to content dash type content is equal to HTML text HTML. Okay, this is the thing here given. So note meta tag plus title goes in between head title, head tag. So meta tag and uh, head meta tag and title tag goes in between head tag. So it will appear both meta tag and head tag. Meta tag and title tag will appear always in between head tag. Now name provides here the name is given name provides information in the content attribute values or uh, author description keywords generator revised. So these are the information that is provided by the name. You have to write the name keyword over there. Another another one is HTTP dash UK provides an HTTP header for the information in the content attribute values content type content style type expires refresh set cookie like that information is given in http desk you give another one is a scheme used to interpret what is the meaning of scheme a scheme is used to interpret the content attribute a scheme is used to interpret the content attribute okay now center tag what is the center tag they basically mean center tag is used to say if you are having you know something if you want to write something and you want to display in the center of the website then you have to use the opening and closing tag of the center div tag so what happens div tag div tag divides the divides or uh, divides the web page or you could say it divides the section of the web page okay abvr tag divides an attribute phrase like that of ABBR title world health organization who ABBR it is closing tag so whenever so every ABBR means abbreviation so if you written ABBR uh, title is equal to w world health organization who ABBR take it uh, sorry uh, that that means so here when you will uh, move the cursor over WHO for the full information that like World Health Organization. And what I request you please take out all the, your notebook and write down all the stuff that I'm writing over the board because it will help you a lot in your preparation. Okay, this is the thing that I'm telling you. Please write down all the information that is given here. After there is one code known as block code. What is the meaning of block code? Block code is used to you know, write a long para paragraph. You could say. If you want to write a long paragraph, okay, then block code could be used here. Say if you are having in a website say three or four paragraphs and you want to differentiate between all those three or four paragraphs, what happens if you are writing the block code? It will put a single line above the starting point of your paragraph and the ending point of a paragraph. It will put another line. So two lines are will be drawn. Two white lines will be drawn. One at the starting, another at the bottom. That is at the end. Starting point one and at the end point one. Another one is known as delta tag. Delta tag used to define the code. No, delta is used basically for crossing or for cutting the tag. Delta is used for basically uh, crossing or cutting. So it defines a uh, tag uh, defines a tag that has been deleted for a document. Defines a tag that has been deleted for a document. So delta is used. Here. Okay. So these are the things that I have. Uh, delta don't uh, confuse delta. Let me say it is omitting. It doesn't omit. It simply cuts. So here it is written del raw or it is written as output only single line cross or you could say cut okay so that's the thing you should know so it means not omitting but cutting off crossing you could say so there's the thing here okay no need to worry and what I request you for more information or for the entire, this is something known as demo video. But if you want entire course, you require to visit the website by www.buybackpeercourse.in and here you could buy the course. Okay, so visit the website www.buybackpeercourse.in. Thank you.